Hello guys, in this list, we've compiled the top 10 best movies featuring Jake Gyllenhaal, a talented actor who has delivered some truly outstanding performances throughout his career, showcasing his range and versatility on the big screen. From intense dramas to action-packed thrillers, Jake Gyllenhaal has left a lasting impression on audiences with his incredible acting skills. But before jumping into the list, please make sure to hit like and subscribe button. Well, now let's jump into the video. I'm a hard worker. I set high goals. My motto is, if you want to win the lottery, you have to make the money to buy a ticket. So what do you say? I could start tomorrow or even why not tonight? First, I would like to talk about number one, Nightcrawler, released in 2014. The IMDb rating of this crime thriller movie is 7.8, and Jake played the character of Lou Bloom. The movie is about a guy named Lou Bloom. He's a bit of a loner, struggling to make ends meet, until he discovers the world of freelance crime journalism. Lou gets a police scanner and starts racing to crime scenes before anyone else. He's determined to capture the most graphic footage and sell it to the highest bidder. And he's good at it, really good. But as Lou becomes more successful, he becomes more desperate to capture even more shocking footage. He starts crossing lines, manipulating crime scenes, and even endangering innocent people, all in the name of getting the best shot. Lou's actions catch the attention of a local news station, and he becomes their go-to guy for breaking news. But as his fame grows, so does his depravity. Throughout the movie, we see Lou become more and more obsessed with capturing the most gruesome footage, and we see the toll it takes on him and those around him. Start filming! I'm Detective Fonieri. I think you withheld information. That would be a very unprofessional thing for me to do. It would be murder. Number 2, Prisoners, released in 2013. And this crime thriller movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 8.1. And Jake played the character of Detective Loki. The movie follows Keller Dover and his family who are celebrating Thanksgiving with their neighbors. After the meal, their young daughters, Anna and Joy, go missing and the parents soon discover that they have been abducted. However, as time passes, the police start their investigation and find a suspicious RV near the area where the girls went missing. The driver, Alex Jones, is brought in for questioning but is released due to lack of evidence. This is where Keller takes matters into his own hands and decides to kidnap Alex and hold him captive in order to extract information about his daughter's whereabouts. The story also follows Detective Loki as he tries to piece together the evidence and find the missing girls. The movie deals with themes of desperation, morality, and justice. It also has some intense scenes that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Well, no, no, no! She's wondering why I'm not there! It took you long for my daughter! Number 3, Zodiac, released in 2007. The IMDb rating of this mystery thriller movie is 7.7, .7, and Jake played the character of Robert Graysmith. The movie follows the investigation into the Zodiac killer by a group of detectives, journalists, and cartoonist Robert Graysmith, who becomes obsessed with the case. The Zodiac killer, as you might imagine, got his name from the cryptic codes and letters he sent to newspapers and police, taunting them with clues to his identity. The movie is directed by David Fincher, who also directed films like Seven, Fight Club, and The Social Network. He brings his signature style to the movie, creating a tense and atmospheric thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat. One of the things that sets Zodiac apart from other crime thrillers is its attention to detail. The movie stays true to the real events and characters involved in the case, and even uses actual police reports and transcripts in some scenes. This makes the movie feel incredibly authentic and adds to the suspense. He's still out there, Dave. Killing is his compulsion. It drives him, it's in his blood. There's the military boot prints, the bloody knife. All circumstantial. Why Number 4, Brokeback Mountain, released in 2005. And this romantic drama movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.7. .7. And Jake played the character of Jack Twist. This is a romantic drama film. The movie tells the story of two young men named Anise Del Mar and Jack Twist, who meet and fall in love while working together as sheep herders on the titular mountain in Wyoming. Anise and Jack are both struggling with their own personal demons, but they find solace and comfort in each other's company. They soon develop a passionate relationship but they have to keep it a secret because of the societal norms and prejudices of the time. The movie explores their relationship and the difficulties they face in trying to maintain it. They go their separate ways, get married, and start families, but they never forget about each other. Years later, they reunite and try to rekindle their romance, but the societal pressures and homophobia they face prove to be too much. The movie shows the struggles of a forbidden love and the pain that comes with it. You didn't want it, Annis! Oh, God! You don't know nothing about it. I wish I knew how to quit you. Number 5, Ambulance, released in 2022. The IMDb rating of this action thriller movie is 6.1, and Jake played the character of Danny Sharp. The story of this movie begins when a veteran teams up with his adoptive brother to steal millions of dollars from a bank in Los Angeles. 
He involved in this adventure because he need money to cover his wife's medical bills. However, when they were doing their business in the bank, their mission went wrong when police finds about this robbery, and they disparately run from bank in an ambulance with an injured cop and a nurse. The whole police of the city was after them and they got in a high-profile chase. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, D. You are all gonna have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! Don't shoot a cop! Number 6, Love and Other Drugs, released in 2010. And this romantic comedy movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 6.7. And Jake played the character of Jamie Randall. This is a romantic comedy drama that follows Jamie, a charming and smooth-talking pharmaceutical salesman who enjoys his life as a bachelor in the early 2000s seconds. However, things start to change when he meets Maggie, a free-spirited artist who has a complex and challenging relationship with Parkinson's disease. Jamie and Maggie initially start their relationship as a casual fling but their chemistry quickly deepens as they navigate the ups and downs of Maggie's illness. Along the way, they face obstacles such as Jamie's commitment issues and Maggie's fear of intimacy due to her illness. The movie highlights the harsh reality of living with a chronic illness and the emotional toll it can take on not only the person affected but also their loved ones. It also touches on the pharmaceutical industry's influence on healthcare and the ethics surrounding it. There are plenty of lighthearted moments, witty banter, and steamy scenes that keep the story balanced and engaging. Hello? I like your- I'm sorry, I know, it's so late. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn around! <laughs> Number 7, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, released in 2010. The IMDb rating of this fantasy adventure movie is 6.6, .6, and Jake played the character of Dastan. The movie follows the story of a prince named Dastan, who teams up with a beautiful princess named Tamina to stop an evil villain from unleashing the power of a magical dagger that can control time itself. The story is set in ancient Persia and is full of epic battles, daring stunts, and breathtaking scenery. You'll see Dastan and Tamina running through the bustling streets of ancient cities, battling hordes of enemies, and navigating treacherous traps in search of the powerful dagger. But the real standout of the movie is the time-bending action sequences. Whenever Dastan uses the dagger to manipulate time, the movie slows down and everything becomes a blur of acrobatic feats and mind-bending special effects. It's truly a sight to behold. Overall, it's got everything you could want in a movie, action, romance, suspense, and even a touch of humor. Number 8, Source Code, released in 2011, and this sci-fi action movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 7.5, and Jake played the character of Coulter Stevens. The story follows Captain Coulter Stevens, a U.S. Army helicopter pilot who wakes up one day to find himself in the body of a stranger on a Chicago commuter train. Confused and disoriented, he soon learns that he's part of a top-secret government experiment called the Source Code, which allows him to relive the last eight minutes of someone else's life. Stevens is tasked with using the Source Code to uncover the identity of a terrorist who bombed the train earlier that morning, and prevent a much larger attack that's planned for later that day. With each time loop, he learns more about the passengers on the train and their connections to the terrorist plot. However, as the clock ticks down, Stevens races against time to solve the mystery, all while forming a bond with a fellow passenger, Christina Warren, played by Michelle Monaghan. Along the way, he grapples with the moral implications of his actions and the realization that he may never return to his own body and life. Attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. <laughs> Number 9, Nocturnal Animals, released in 2016. The IMDb rating of this thriller drama movie is 7.5, and Jake played the character of Tony Hastings. This intense thriller revolves around Susan Morrow, a successful art gallery owner in Los Angeles. One day, she receives a manuscript from her ex-husband Edward Sheffield, who she hasn't seen in over a decade. The book is titled Nocturnal Animals, and it's dedicated to Susan. However, as she starts reading the novel, she's immediately drawn into the story of Tony Hastings, a mild-mannered math professor, his wife Laura, and their daughter India. They're traveling through rural Texas when they encounter a group of ruthless thugs who kidnap Laura and India. The rest of the novel follows Tony's desperate attempts to find his family and bring them back safely. Throughout the movie, we see flashbacks of Susan and Edward's past relationship, which helps to explain why he sent her the manuscript in the first place. As the story unfolds, we learn about the pain and heartbreak they both endured, and we start to understand why the novel is so important to both of them. You might never get it again. I really wanted to be this person. And on very last, number 10, The Day After Tomorrow, released in 2004. And this thriller disaster movie ranks on the IMDb with rating of 6.8. 
and Jake played the character of Sam. This movie is about a climatologist who has been warning about the dangers of global warming for years. But no one takes him seriously until a massive storm system starts to form, and it becomes clear that the Earth is on the brink of a catastrophic ice age. However, as the storm intensifies, Jack's son, Sam, is stranded in New York City with a group of survivors, struggling to survive the sub-zero temperatures and raging blizzards. Meanwhile, Jack sets out on a dangerous journey across the frozen tundra to reach his son and save him from the impending doom. The movie is full of stunning special effects and gripping action scenes, as the characters fight to survive against the forces of nature. The storm is just gonna get worse. What should we do? I will come for you. Do you understand me? So friends, this was the whole list of movies. I hope you enjoyed it and excited for watching the movies you have not watched yet. That's it. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Leave the comment below and share your thoughts on this video, and let me know your favorite one. And also please do subscribe this YouTube channel for more interesting content like this. Stay strong and see you in next video.